Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Hi folks, if you like the work that I do, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It will really help YouTube viewers find my channel. The dog days of August had come, and it was time for my annual trek into the wilds of Ontario, Canada. I had set myself two goals for this trip. First, enjoy the peace and quiet of the wilderness and connect with family and friends. Second, to operate a parks on the air station far from any modern conveniences like cell phone service or AC power. This time I had gathered a hardy troop of seven adventurous souls to make the trip. We left our hometown at three in the morning in order to traverse the road north and get to the Outfitters by 7 a.m. We loaded two Honda minivans with gear and people and the voyage had begun. Following the great Canadian custom, a midway stop at Tim Hortons for a beverage and breakfast was a must. No unforeseen incidents held us up and right on schedule, we arrived at Algonquin Base Camp to pick up our paddles and life vests. Across the street from there was the local office for our destination, Algonquin Provincial Park. We checked in with park staff and set off to the launch site. After a 45-minute drive, most of which was down a gravel road, we arrived at the location where the outfitters had dropped off our canoes the night before. We quickly unloaded our gear, packed it all into the three canoes, and began paddling. On this trip, we had to utilize two portages, which meant beaching the canoes, unpacking them, and carrying the boats and gear to the next lake. Soon we were on the lake we would be setting up on, paddling across the large expanse of water. About an hour later, we located a site with enough room for our four tents. The rest of the day we busied ourselves with setting up the tents, filtering water, and gathering firewood. The second day I had one primary goal, to set up my ham radio station. The antenna I had brought along for this outing was an N9SAB 100 watt linked dipole for 40 meters and 20 meters, kindly sent to me by Tim, November 9 Sierra Alpha Bravo himself. There was only one spot where erection of the antenna was feasible. As I had done the previous year, I enlisted the aid of my nephew Nick to sling a paracord over a tree branch that would hold the feed point of the antenna up around 25 feet off the ground. Let's check out Nick's winning style. Okay. Tent number one of one. That was, uh, that was our warm-up. A little over there. The wind kind of took it down. Yeah, I, I noticed that big gust that came along. Yeah. So I did learn a trick um, after our last trip out, but I couldn't use it this time because it involves a big plastic jug. You put the paracord in the big plastic jug and the paracord doesn't get snagged on stuff on the ground. So I couldn't haul that along this time. So. Yeah. It's not horrible. Now, I would prefer it more towards the center of the branch. Yeah. What do you think your uh, chances are of putting it over there? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit worried because there's a bit of bramble. Why don't we pull on the weight and uh, just pull the rest of the paracord through? It's less li I think it's less likely to get tangled. Okay. Temp number three, Diener, you're in the strike zone, so you might want to watch yourself. 
I knew where it was really the strike zone for me, so. Uh, <laughs> So remember, you've all you've been you've been veering to the right, so don't overcompensate, but just try to keep that arm motion such that it's uh, forward. Okay. Number one, up one. Oh my gosh, that is just about perfect. Thank you, sir. Well done. Nicely done. I thought you said it was the third attempt. Well, we Nick. Cheated a bit. No, no, that's oh. the tenth one. That's the tenth one. Trust me. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, we had a practice run. Ah. Uh, or two. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> the antenna was set up in an inverted V, with the ends of the radiators down at about 12 feet above ground level. Not ideal, for as you know, the best height for a 40 meter dipole apex is 60 feet. But that configuration is what I had to work with in this location. The hardware at the shack end of the station was my Yesu FT891 and a 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. These items had to be carefully packed for the rough handling they endured on the trip. Bubble wrap, dollar store elastic Velcro straps, and a Ziploc bag protected each of these items while in transit. I sure wish someone would come out with a form-fitting, compact padded zippered case for the 891. I haven't found one yet. Since there were a number of biting flies at the campsite, I erected my no bug zone shelter to house the station. In the foreground of this shot, you can see the coax hanging down from the N9 SAB linked dipole. I set the RF output on the 891 to 20 watts to conserve battery runtime, then tested the SWR in 40 meters and found it to be at or below 1.5 to 1 across the entire band. That was good, since due to weight and size restrictions, I had not brought along a tuner. With the station up and running, it was time to see if I was getting out. I had a bit of time to spare before my scheduled activation, so I looked up and down 40 for other parks on the air stations. I found a couple. Here is how those attempts to make a contact went. Got red flashing light? Yeah, this is Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike from Park VE-0138, Algonquin Provincial Park in Ontario, Canada. And, and please forgive me, I'm just getting the station set up here. I missed your signal. I'll give you a report on the next over. Uh, back to you, uh, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Okay, yeah, no problem. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Mike, I copy part number Victor Echo 0138, and I've got two five five fifty five into Kilo 2464, that's Kilo 2464, Eastern Massachusetts, call sign Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Bravo, Quebec. Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Bravo, Quebec. Uh, you have a 5 and 8, beautiful 5 and 8 signal into my station here, sir. So thank you for the activation and good luck. Okay, yeah, thanks for a nice report. You're loud and clear too. It's got your 5-5, five five, but uh, just sounding pretty good. Thanks so much for the activation. Thanks for the park to park and have a great activation. 7-3. Seven 7-3, three. Seven three. take care and good luck. Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Bravo, Quebec, CQ, parks on the air. Okay, kill it, man. Saturday, August 14th, I'm here at Algonquin Provincial Park, VE-0138. Just fired up the rig, and no sooner had I turned it on, I checked out the SWR is fine across uh, 40 meters. Uh, I've got the link dipole up in the 40 meter configuration. When I work 20 a little bit later on, I'll have to pull it down and remove the extensions. Um, uh, just turned the rig on. And there's somebody calling Park to Park, so I just made a contact with Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Bravo, Quebec. Thank you to that operator for giving me the opportunity. He gave me a 5 and 5 report into Massachusetts. So, we're off to a good start. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, Park to Park. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Alright, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. You're about a 5-5 five five in the park, Kilo 4352, over. 
QSL, you are a 5 and 7 into Park VE-0138 in Ontario, QSL. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Now it was time for my POTA activation. Encouraged by the earlier contacts I had made, I started calling CQ Parks on the Air. Let's take a look at what happened next. November 1, Bravo Romeo Lima. November 1 station again, please. November 1, Bravo, Romeo Lima, uh, c giving you a 5 and 7 report, sir, into VE0138. QSL the 5 7. I will give you a 5 7 into Connecticut as well. QSL? QSL the 5 7 into Connecticut. Thank you for the contact. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the activation. 73. 73. Have a great weekend. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, from VE0138. November Echo 1 Delta. November Echo 1 Delta, is this Dimitri? Uh, roger, roger. Good afternoon, Tracy. Uh, nice to hear you on the air. Hey, Dimitri, real nice to catch you too, sir. Always a pleasure to have a chat. Uh, I've got you at about 5 and 7, 5 and 7 into VE0138. Uh, yeah, Roger, Roger, thank you for the 5 7. Uh, you too are speed man if you are. Uh, you're coming about 5 5 into Massachusetts, over. Today I'm actually running 20 watts, Dimitri, 20 watts. Okay, Roger, Roger, you're doing a great job. Uh, I was listening to your previous call, uh, caller there. Uh, sometimes you may be going slightly above that. An excellent audio, so uh, I don't want to hold you up. Uh, nice to chat with you. I think that this might be our second or third contact. Uh, I'll say 73, and uh, hopefully I'll get to talk to you soon. Over. Hey, looking forward to that contact just as I'm enjoying this one, Dimitri. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the contact. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, from VE0138. I'm going to take this chance to have a sip of water. <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, logging with your book in your uh, lap, uh, a little tougher than it looks, and uh, I'm not always getting a chance to take a look at that S-meter quickly, so I'm kind of guesstimating it as I'm giving it out. That's better. And I hope I can read my chicken scratching when I get back home. Whiskey 2, Golf Juliet Foxtrot. Whiskey 2, Golf Juliet Foxtrot. You are booming into the wilderness of Ontario, Canada from VE0138, giving you a 5 and 9 report, sir. QSL, QSL, uh, you're, you're down a little bit. I'm getting a 5 and 9 for you on my S-meter, but your audio is down a little bit. Uh, in Kingston, New York, thanks for the park. Okay, thank you very much. Truly appreciate it. Enjoy your weekend, 73. Okay, it just came up on that a little bit. I think just QSB setting in. 73, and good luck. Thank you, sir. This is Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, calling CQ Parks on the Air from VE0138. Alpha Delta 8, Foxtrot Delta. Alpha Delta 8 station, please. Alpha Delta 8, Foxtrot Delta. Alpha Delta 8, Foxtrot Delta. You're blowing in the front end of my uh, my receiver here. Uh, I've given you a full 5.9. Uh, please, uh, so copy that from VE0138. Roger, roger. Yeah, you're about a 5-5 five, five into southern Ohio. Good enough to copy, so 73. It's not fun. Thanks for the contact. Greatly appreciate it. Enjoy your weekend. CQ Parks on the air. CQ Parks on the air from Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike at VE0138. There's a park-to-park -park station in there. Park-to-park, -park, go ahead, please. Park 
that. Copy our park 3786. Please copy VE0138. You got a nice signal into Ontario today, sir. A five and seven report for you. Copy the 5-5. Five five. Thank you very much for the contact, 73, and have a great weekend. Kilo Echo 8, Papa X-Ray. Kilo Echo 8, Papa X-Ray, please. Roger, roger. Good afternoon, Tracy. You're a 5-5, five five, 55 into Ohio, Ohio. And the name is Ron, Romeo, Oscar, November. Over. Hey, Ron, thank you very much for the contact. You're also a 5-5 into Ontario, into the backwoods here. Uh, at VE0138, 0138, QSL? QSL, QSL, thanks a lot for the park. It's 73, have fun out there. Thanks for the activation. Whiskey number one, America, Echo America. Good afternoon. Good signal in the state of Vermont this afternoon. Over. Thank you very much for the contact from Vermont. You're a 5 and a 7. 5 and a 7 signal uh, into Ontario here from VE0138. Uh, Whiskey 1, Alpha, Echo, Alpha, Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike from W1AEA. You're 5 and 5. 5 5 in the state of Vermont. My name is Jeff. I'm not working. Parks on the air, but I thought I'd give you a contact from the state of Vermont. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 2, uh, Yankee, uh, Lima Yankee, W-A-2-Y-L-Y, over. Whiskey Alpha 2, uh, Yankee, Lima, Yankee, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, you're a 5 and 8, 5 and 8 into uh, VE0138, QSL? QSL, the 5 and 8, you are 5 and 7, 5 and 7 in Northeast in PA, from WA to Yankee, or uh, Lima Yankee, thank you. Kilo Alpha 3, Foxtrot Station again, please. I've got my I've got got you a QRP signal, but I think I'm last. Lim, I think I am missing the last letter of your call. I've got Kilo Alpha Three Foxtrot Whiskey. Is there another letter, sir? Kilo Alpha Three Foxtrot Whiskey Quebec. Got you that time. Kilo Alpha Three Foxtrot Whiskey Quebec. Give you a five and three report. Five and three from VE zero one three eight QSL. Very good, and congratulations on your QRP signal, sir. You're doing a nice job into Ontario. Thank you very much for the contact. Park to Park Station, go ahead, please. Park to park. Kilo Bravo Station, you faded as you were giving me your call. Could you come with your, try again, please? Hey, Michael, wonderful to make a contact with you. Thank you very much. I've got you in here about a 5 and a 5 into VE 0138. Hey, Michael, copy the uh, 4238, 4238, uh, repeating that I've got, you're coming in about a 5 and a 3 here. I copy your 5 and 1 uh, here from VE0138. Thank you very much for the contact. Really appreciate it. 
Sorry, are there two different park numbers, Michael? Four five three three and four two uh, three eight is it? Okay, apologize, Michael. You've literally faded into the background here, and I'm not hearing you anymore. But I think we have a solid contact. QSL. Okay, thanks for the contact. Uh, Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, and that's uh, that's Michael. Uh, Michael's got a great YouTube channel, KB9 VBR Antennas, look it up. I ended up with 57 contacts from a 20 watt station with a 40 meter antenna that was only up 25 feet at the apex. Tim Ortiz, November 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo, likes to say that it's very difficult to find a portable antenna that will outperform a good old dipole, and I agree with him. Of course, the real strength of any station is not the rig, but the antenna. The N9SAB linked dipole worked very well for me on this trip. You can get more information on this antenna by following the link in the description below. Watch for my upcoming in-depth video review on this fine product. Well, that's it for this time. If you've never had a chance to try Backcountry HF Portable and you have the ability to do so, give it a shot. Operating as I did from the wilderness is a real thrill. My thanks go to Tim Ortiz, November 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo, for sending me the linked dipole to test. I'd also like to thank you for watching. Until next time, now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3, TWM.